Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I want to talk to you about the Weevil. No, not that Weevil, and definitely not its evil, scary... God, get that thing off the screen, my god, that's gonna give me nightmares for a week. The Weevil submachine gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which you're probably no more familiar with than those insects, because this isn't a very popular weapon. This guy wanted to drop into the water, apparently he hasn't seen my Aquaman episode. He knows that I'm the king of all the sea people and sea man under the sea, and yes, I did that on purpose. But the Weevil is quite a good submachine gun, it's actually competing with the Vesper for being my favorite right now. And it's overlooked by a whole ton of people. I don't know why I challenged all these people in the water. I should have gotten out. But I'm using it in a game where in the last round things went bad. I went 8 and 13. They were up 50 to 100 and a half. That's nothing to brag about. Nothing to put on YouTube. But I decided to put my tryhard panties on, be a big boy, and I wanted to show you what the Weevil is capable of if used properly. And it's capable of doing great things. The Weevil is in many ways very average, and that's why I think it's overlooked. The damage is pretty average for some machine guns. It's not like the CUDA. The rate of fire is pretty average, maybe very, very slightly on the high end, but that's true of almost all the SMGs. I love punching people in the back. That's so very just satisfying when you crack them over the like that neck area and they die instantly. I love that. Recoil is pretty average. It doesn't kick the most. Actually, maybe close to the most, but it's not terrible, and I didn't even know I could gravity spike underwater until just now. I just had to try that out and do it, and so it didn't really feel spectacular, and I know that I said I didn't like the VMP because it was a very average weapon and didn't really stand out and didn't have much unique and I'm going to sound hypocritical for saying that I like the Weevil for some of the reasons that I didn't like the VMP, but there's some things that the Weevil does that the VMP and the other guns just don't. Some of these are subjective, like the fact that I think the iron sights are very, very easy to use. There's no need for me to put a red dot on them. They're very old school kind of COD iron sights, very simple. I can pick people off at ranges. The magazine size is huge. It's a 50 round magazine. It's really, really good to have a 50 round magazine. That's a lot less re reloading. I reload very infrequently with this weapon. It's much better at spraying and praying and hosing people and my teammate just got like a quadra kill right there. That's some crazy stuff. And it's especially when you're in close quarters combat or there's multiple targets. I can just hose a whole lot of people and I don't have to worry about reloading at all. But what feels really good about it is the range. And I know that sounds crazy because I don't think I don't know because I don't have the stats, I don't have the code, I don't have the little the charts and stuff like we would have on a full release. I don't know if the range is mathematically amazing, but it feels really good for a submachine gun, or for any submachine gun that's not named the Razorback. We all know that the Razorback has really good range. That's, that's kind of what makes it as popular or as debatably overpowered as it is, is that it kind of bridges the gap between submachine gun and assault rifle. But for a weapon that's very clearly a true SMG with relatively low damage, high rate of fire, you know, recoil coil that you have to struggle with, the Weevil for me performs better at range than it really should. Like, you would expect this gun to be complete crap at range and do nothing useful, but it's actually pretty competitive at long ranges. Now, it doesn't make people flinch that much. I do think that's another weakness of the weapon. I've noticed that just some of the weapons in this game have high flinch, like the Man of War and the M8 both cause really high flinch, and flinch is one of the mechanics that are controversial now since we don't have toughness, and it can make your enemies lose gunfights. The Weevil isn't going to do that for you, but it is just kind of pretty easy to keep your shots on target. Uh, back on track, though, I do think this, this little gun has been overlooked by a lot of people because there are other weapons that really excel in other areas like the Vesper for rate of fire, the Razorback for range, even though yeah, I know they said this one had good range, or something like the CUDA for damage, or uh, the VMP a lot of people have told me I've been totally wrong about and they like. Uh, the, another weakness is it's pretty average in terms of time to kill. It doesn't really slay super fast, it doesn't drop people or nuke them, but for whatever particular reason I do like the little, <laughs> the little guy here, he just, he performs well, it feels good in my hands and I intend to keep using it and I would recommend that you give it a try too it's definitely worth using the point to unlock and looking into guys that's all I have to say about it anything else would be completely rambling or wasting your time but I am gonna finish up the gameplay here because I do want you to see me use the weapon to come back and win the game I'm gonna end up I think I went like 20 and 5 or 20 and 6 or something for this for the second half and we do end up coming back and winning that's all for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to like favorite and subscribe Subscribe. Drifter out. Losing Bravo. Securing Charlie. Outrider of KIA. Losing Bravo. Ruin down. All locations secured. Hold your positions. UAV inbound. Hostile UAV above. UAV in. 
inbound. Friendly Hellstorm inbound. Losing C. We lost Charlie. Overwatch down. That's a kill. Losing A. 